nice dog. Yeah. So we, let me know when that's on. We're on. Okay. Matt, you want to stand to one side? Matt, stand to one side so we can see him. One of the mats. So this is what, this is how we, this is how I feed him. See how when, as soon as I came in, mm -hmm. what did he do? Where did he sit? Right in front of Where's the food? He's there. Okay, so that's, this is his food bowl. So this is basically telling me that he wants to eat. Okay, so just give him a little bit of a time. It's just his regular kibble. Oh, I'll, I'll, I gotta do it. Oh, yeah. And then, he's in a position here. Yeah. And I, so when he makes, when he gets in that right position, that the position that I want him in, I can feed him. And as we do as a puppy, he doesn't have to sit on the floor. So if I, if I put the food up here, he'll eat it up here. Okay. There's no. But why do you think I do that? Any idea why I have him go up on tables like that? Uh. Environmentally, I don't want him to be scared. So my other dog, if he was going to eat, and there was, I wanted him to sit in the snow, do you think my other dog would eat? No. No, he's spoiled. He doesn't care, okay? So if I want him to jump up on the table to eat, okay, so he's not going to get the food out of my hand until he figures out what I want him to do. That's where I want him to be. Okay. He's going to jump high. Did that seem like that was hard for him? No. No. Okay. So he's a very, very agile dog. How high can he jump? Uh, he, can, he can probably jump a six foot fence. Okay, wow. so if I had him here, up on the table. See where he just follows my food, my hand with the food? So he just wants, he, he, this for him, this is work, okay? And see how he hits it, so it's good. I give him a little bit of food, because that's what I did. You missed the little piece right there. <laughs> Get it, buddy. Okay. Now he's going to adjust his position. See where his, his focus is? Mm -hmm. Lady. Okay. And he's going to adjust his position so we can eat. And he goes back into the down. Okay. So do you do that for all his meals, even at home? Even at home, even on his day off. So that okay. he gets this, this bond with me. Yep. I mean, it's kind of gross, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's, I'm the only one he eats out of. So there's no confusion as to who he gets his meals from. And do you see all that, do you see all the slobber in the, in the foam around his mouth? Do you know what that's, what that's from? Nope. When he breathes. So he's breathing all that food in right now. All that slobber, it means he's working. It's pretty gross, but I know that he's very into eating and feeding and you know, he's hungry. So he knows that if he doesn't want to listen and he doesn't want to do it, like if I don't want him to lie down like that, he's going to do whatever he can to get into the right position to get the food. It's, And then the reward is to open my hand, okay? So if I say down, so say I don't want him down. I don't want him down. I don't want him to stand like that. I want him to sit. Seats, seats. And then I reward it by like that, okay? Docile and very open. Does he? The little, do you know what that's, why he does that? Any idea? It's his nerves. He's very anxious right now. I put him on, he's, how far is this? About two feet? He's on a two foot leash in between a table with three people he doesn't know. Do you think he's stressed out right now? He's very stressed out, okay? That's why he stays and looks to me. He's like, out of anybody in this room, who do you think he knows? You. Me, so he looks to me, hey, dad, what's, is this okay, are we okay? If one of you were threatening to me, see where he stands? He's not standing behind me, he's not standing next to me. He's standing in between you guys and me, okay? So his, not a toy. His ultimate at the end of the day, no matter what situation we're in, he's here to protect me and help me, okay? And he's another tool that we have. So that's kind of how we use him, why we use him. That's one of his uh, harnesses that he has. And that's just a simple, we could go do a big long track in the snow, but. Yeah, no, that's Too cold. Yeah. He's a beautiful dog. Thanks. Yeah. You know what kind of dog he is? Yeah. Take a guess. Uh, Do you what most police dogs are? Uh, German Shepherds? Yeah, I was say German Shepherds. Yep. He's a Dutch Shepherd and a Belgian Malinois. So it's like a lot of the ones they use in the army. Yeah. Uh, that's why his face is all black yeah. and he has that brindle and he's smaller. So he's a, a German Shepherd to usually like anywhere from 70 to 90 pounds. What was that?
stressed out, right? Yeah. He's yeah. shaking. Yeah. He's kind of telling me, hey, I want to go back to where it's it's comfortable. How, how old is he? Uh, he'll be three in about two weeks. Come here. Oh, wow. Come here. Okay. So from that very beginning when we I feed him by hand, that's a big part of how we get to this. Because I picked him up at a breeding program. I didn't know who he was, what he was. He didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he was. So it takes a long time to kind of get to... I don't have to tell him, hey, stand there and make sure these guys are okay. He wants to do that automatically. Because at the end of the day, he gets everything from me. He gets his food, his water, his shelter, all that stuff only comes from me. So it's kind of a unique thing that canine people get that other people don't. Huh. And he worked all night, so he's, he's been a good boy. Huh. Now you don't get lonely at work. I know I don't get lonely at work. <laughs> so, awesome. any other questions? No? no? All right.